Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we've got a few big dogs coming out. Tom Paul and Jared Berry here. We've got the real big dogs coming out. <laughs> I think you. Enough. Put, okay, okay here, Matho here guys. Archie's wedding, all the best guys, congratulations. We're out here in, a, uh, in the mountains in the Gold Coast. Boys are looking fine. Yep. We're gonna have a big <laughs> night, oh, let's yeah. go. Look at those guys. One, two, three. It's all right now. a bit of a party. We all look party yeah. one. Yeah, you hold, hold it like that. All right boys, we're at O'Reilly's Vineyard for Archie and Sophie's <laughs> All right. All right, boys, we're at O'Reilly's Vineyard for Archie and Sophie's wedding. We're ready to have a great day. Congratulations. All the best to you and yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why'd you throw it to me? What? That was bad. <laughs> All right, boys, we're here at O'Reilly's Vineyard for Archie and Sophie's wedding. Congratulations, guys. It's going to be a great night. Hope you make some great memories. Have a good one. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Best day of my life and to have the man himself filming it all. Hey, what's up? He's so happy to be here. Alright, so it's Monday, um, start of the week. Um, we have three running sessions during the week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We've got six three minute runs and 10 100s. So we'll see how we go, but it's pretty boring. I'm not gonna film it because it's literally nothing. Me running laps, which is not what I like doing. So um, tomorrow I have boxing and gym, running through that. And then Wednesday I'm doing the running session with the boys. So usually we always train together, but as you can tell, it's uh, pouring down the rain. So we split up a little bit. I will have uh, the headphones in, uh, Young Thug's new album's out. So I'll be listening to that, see how we go. But let's get it. So I finished that sesh. Um, young Thug didn't, didn't do it for me, so I put back on my boy Fisher. Session done. Let's go. Cool. This is where it started. <laughs> under, under. Just finished the sesh with Chris Rose. The Cullen brothers uh, joined me today. It's always good to um, get a few boys in there as well, like hitting the bags and releasing a little bit of frustration and stuff out on there so that's always uh good to get some people come along with you but that's the tuesday so that's how you start tuesday had school drop-offs and then into boxing and gym let's fucking get it what a, what a sheepish dog remember that time he's having the pool <laughs> and the cut just finished the first 10 30 stride 30 jog it's the hardest thing a good pace set is huey Big berry. What we got next? Yeah, 10, 20, 30. Just uh, a bit more high speed. Um, Get those cows going. Yeah, the cows are fing yeah, 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 fire. Okay, welcome, mate. Sesh. Yeah. All right, guys, this drill is called the envelope kip. Um, it's called that because it's shaped like an envelope. Pretty much it starts from here, goes inside, simulating a 45 kick, goes back out the other way, and then long down the line. It just keeps going around in circles, runs to the cone in front of you, 
just to practice getting off the mark, hitting your targets. <laughs> I have numbers for it. Oh, Just down here at Cooperoo, a few of the boys, a few of the Brisbane Lions boys down here doing a bit of training. Good group of about 10 players, uh, doing a bit of skill work at the moment. They've done plenty of running this morning as well. They look really fit, uh, and it's just great to see. Good to see that they're such good mates as well, you know, they, they help each other along. It's a, a lot easier training in a group than, than training on your own. So, uh, cheers. There you go, Mitch. Love it, mate. I've got a bite over that, thanks. Go! 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 We're done for the day. Um, some of the boys are going to go do gym. I did gym yesterday, but no joke. Like, I was speaking to you before, and I get that much anxiety for running, like getting up early and doing it. Once you get here and get it done, 7.30 we started, you just feel that much better. Like, day's done. You don't have to worry about it. Don't have to, like, say, oh, next, like, maybe tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow type of shit. You just get it done. Oh, the boys, they're so fit. It's f Now I can just go home, relax, put the feet up, maybe go to the beach or do something, but get it done early and you're Golden pony boy, let's go. If you don't pick up the cone, you've got burpees. If you do, just two next spots. Righty, so half squat position, get close to the cone. Ready, head, shoulders. Really nice and close, knees, close, close, close. Head, close. Shoulders, knees, go. <laughs> Tell me what we're doing. We're about to go on a fear phobia. Hell as hell. It's going to be bad, but it's actually pretty scary right yeah. now. So I actually don't really want to go in anymore, but what do you ready, we're ready to get our pants scared off this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's very fast. She was short. 
Going by yourself in a scare room was, was pretty scary, but thanks for having us, Fear Fire. I really appreciate it.